just stopped for a little five minutes uh, at this place, uh, the Macadamia Castle. Very authentic. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, Norman castles used to be made of breeze blocks, and then on the outside they would show depictions of medieval times, like the the dragon, the uh, the cockatoo, and the kangaroo, uh, and then uh, and then of course mini golf and barbecue. Two of the things which. Uh, if you look back in history, many kings and queens, after a big uh, after a big battle, would enjoy miniature golf. You know, and, and why not? It's like somebody who set up a tourist attraction and has just gone. I want everything. I want a zoo. I want mini golf. I want animals. I want a castle, and I, I want it all to come under the world of nuts. You know. I'm going to build a macadamia nut siege tower try and take the whole thing over. It's a good way of getting free macadamia nuts, is to storm the castle and then they tip them on you. You just take them. I felt like turning up dressed as a Brazil nut in armour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to take the macadamia castle. Maybe surrounded by a couple of children dressed as cashews. They wouldn't like that, would they? Because it's not the most heavily fortified castle either, <laughs> I've noticed. Oh, I have to be careful. I think that was the Macadamia King. So I've just arrived in Lismore and uh, the gig's in about uh, an hour's time and it appears that the entire town's shut. Nothing. Right, and the one car that I saw on the street, right, was just these l young lads, right, for the sake of argument, we'll call them bogans. Um, <laughs> just, no, I'm just, I'm just saying that I might be wrong, but I think there might be some sort of shit car rally. <laughs> just some sort of event laid on by the Lismore City Council, you know, where crappy Toyotas are driven badly around roundabout. <laughs> And this kid was like, I'm on my motorbike, right? And I pull up at the roundabout, and this crappy Toyota goes round the roundabout, and this kid leans out, and he gives it the whistle. <laughs> you live in Lismore, you dickhead! <laughs> you whistle! Yeah, with a big up the Lismore massive. Dickhead, you can't... I mean, for God's sake... I mean, trying to do a drive-by shooting in Lismore would be a nightmare, wouldn't it? <laughs> he's he's tri driving around trying to find someone to shoot with him. Is he, uh, try up there, try up there. There's no one up there. <laughs> shoot the windows of that shop. It's already boarded up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Rappers rapping about what's happening on the street. Nothing. <laughs> the, yo, the shops are shut, there's no one about. Oh, I heard a shout of a child. Oh, no, it was an old man falling. <laughs> I have to get to Broken Hill, and I've only got two days to do it in, so it'll mean I'll have to ride from morning till night, and there's no margin of error. Electrics have just failed on my bike. No. Fuck it. I'm have to get that looked at. I think I've learned a very important lesson there. I'm going on a massive road trip around Australia. Probably best not. 
properly get your bike done properly before you go rather than pissing about with it yourself. I'd just like to point out at this stage that the electrics didn't actually fail on my bike. I forgot to tighten up the terminals on my new battery. Well done, Noble. So yeah, so it's sunset, you know, I'm really glad to be uh, um, halfway to Broken Hill. 957 k's and um, I'm gonna have a nice uh, bath and a lie down and I might even uh, I might even go to uh, this place here, Fun Chick, juicy fried chicken. It's not something you greasy fried chicken, you know, hot fried chicken, spicy fried chicken, juicy, juicy is something you associate with uh, melons, not fried chicken. Um, but you know, it's fun chick, and that's the great thing about it. It's, it's chicken, and it's fun. I really have to go now, um, and get some sleep, because I have to do it all again tomorrow. Oh.